Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. My name is Kevin and we are in the eBay cave again today and we have had some really good sales again. Uh, this is the second part actually. This is a continuation of some other... I did yesterday's video from today's sales. So I have two day shipping now, so sometimes I'll do that. If there seems to be a ton of sales one day, I'll divide it up into two videos and then we'll just wait for one more day unless we have a bunch of sales, which we've been having lately. Now I will say that about half of our sales have been Animan sales and we're very, very thankful to each and every one of you out there who, who have done that and for really for everybody who's watched. Our channel has received just amazing amounts of growth and we are so very grateful to each and every one of you. We really do appreciate it, but it is hard to keep up with these Animan sales and what, basically what I've been doing the last few days is showing you what sold and then saying thank you for somebody who bought one of those things or bought one of the Grateful Dead CDs or whatever it is y'all are buying. So we are very thankful. Today I wanted to tell you that since Valentine's Day is coming up here, we have some ephemera, some paper that we decided we were going to put on auction. Matter of fact, it's from a garage sale that I went to and we just by accident found something at the bottom of a box and I've been waiting till Valentine's Day to sell it. It was a pretty nice little surprise and we had it on video, one of our very first videos actually, way, way, way back when. So if you go back and see this video, you gotta forgive me, it wasn't the best thing in the world, but Blue Ridge Mama helps me. And whenever Blue Ridge Mama's in a video, it's automatically better. So let's take a look at that really quick and we have it on auction and you can go check it out. Don't mess up the auction though, a lot of people do that. It is kind of neat to be able to auction some things off at Valentine's Day. So let's take a look at it. We finally got around to listing these vintage Valentines that we got at uh, kind of on accident at the bottom of a box that we bought at a garage sale. And it was kind of a surprise. And so we finally got to listing these things. Look at how freaky that thing is. And they're pretty cool. A lot of them are from Germany. And I told my wife when we found it, I said, this is like $200 worth of stuff if we listed them all individually. She said I was crazy. And so we have a couple of lots, but this is the big one. Actually sent some off as a gift to Paper and Moose because we enjoy her program so much and she teaches us about paper. So, at any rate, these are some good ones and we put it on auction. I think it's going to end either, I don't even know, next Saturday or Sunday. Maybe I'll put a link if I can remember. But they are pretty cool. There you go. Anyway, any rate, I wish I could find some of the ones that were signed. There are some neat, neat ones that are signed. Evelyn... Evelyn was a popular name in the 1950s, 40s and 50s. And Betty. Betty, of course, was too. At any rate, let me know if you do paper out there and what is your favorite form of paper to do and what has done really well for you. I think I put a link below to that auction. You can take a look at it. Don't mess it up now. But take a look at it and uh, you can see if it goes up or down. See what we get for it. I don't even know what it's at right now, to be perfectly honest with you. We had a few really good sales today and a couple of Christmas items sold today. And somebody pointed out that one of them, even though it's a Christmas item, might not actually be a Christmas item. So let's take a look. All right, so we had one of those Christmas trees sell. And this is one that we bought after Christmas. We got it 75% off, paid $10 for it. And it sold for $40, $39.50 plus shipping. It'll go FedEx. And I just shipped these in the box. If somebody asks me, I put it in the description that I'm just going to ship it exactly like it is unless you ask me to put it in something else. And if they ask me, I will. I had a viewer point out that these are selling right now. I think I've sold four since I bought them in January. So people are buying them in January and now in February. And somebody said it's because it's the white one with white lights and they decorate for Valentine's Day using the Christmas tree. So if that's the case, they have just encouraged me to buy a lot more of these after Christmas at 10 bucks at 75% off. And I'm gonna to start to market them, I think, to Valentine's Day. All right, we have a viewer sale going out to Philip here, Michelle and Philip. It says, you have a beautiful family and the cutest children. Thank you for all the info you provide. It is very helpful. We live in rural Northern Michigan with limited sourcing. Your ideas help us with our eBay store. We now will have a mascot like so many of your subscribers do in your eBay room. So thank you so much. And don't forget to take a picture of this thing out in its new environment and uh, send it to my Instagram, hashtag Inaman, hashtag Commonwealth Picker. All right, last time I sold these, it was a long, long time ago on an episode back when nobody was watching. And these are just some lights that are uh, compact, 
compact fluorescent lights, and I got these from Goodwill, so I bought a box full of these things. I'm not quite sure how many, but it, I would say at least a hundred of them. And they had 59 cents on every single one of them. People couldn't believe that I actually went to the Goodwill and tried to negotiate. So if you watch any of the garage sale videos, <laughs> I just... I have a need to negotiate everything down. I don't know what it is, you know. I'll negotiate down, you know, to save a quarter. And then if, if somebody's there selling cookies, you know, I'll give them five bucks. So I just like the negotiation of it. I'm not quite sure why. But I even negotiate with the Goodwill. And I did it on these. I've done it on the Grateful Dead CDs. You know, I'm not going to go to the rack and pull a shirt and negotiate a shirt down from its price but they had a box full i mean had to be over 100 59 cents a piece and you know i know them they're familiar with me i'm in there often although i haven't been in there in a while and i just went and i i knew who the manager was i'm like hey you know it's gonna take you months and months to sell these things one at a time how about you let me have the whole box for 15 bucks and they said okay so that would have been a 59 dollar box if there was a hundred of them so i got them really really cheap and I wouldn't have bought them at 59 cents because you're not making much money because I'm selling four at a time for $7.95 plus shipping. So it'll definitely stay. It's probably in between 8 and 12 ounces. I've got the perfect box for it, so it should work just fine. So we're not making a ton of money on these. At 60 cents a piece, we're barely making like $2.50 when we sell four, so that's really not worth it. But buying the whole box for 15 bucks, you're probably looking at 15 cents a piece about 60 cents total for these selling them for 7.95 and you have tons and tons and tons of lots so at that point with one listing i think it's worth it all right another man going out this one's going out to darcy and it says hey commonwealth pickers i'm assuming you're talking to the whole family here uh, love your channel and solid usable content broken down to simple terms i've been watching for about a week now and i'm almost caught up to date, I plan to give my Inaman as a gift to my gastroenterologist. Oh my goodness. Uh, after the next procedure, LOL, can't wait to see his face priceless. Keep up all the good that you do, Darcy. Darcy, thank you so much, and we do appreciate it. And tell your doctor hello for us. All right, this is the other Christmas item, and this one sold for $40 plus shipping. And it is what you would call, you know, new old stock here. Although the little practice button here doesn't work. It says, uh, try me, doesn't work. And I listed that in a listing. I'm sure this thing's been sitting around. It's probably from, two, let me see what it says, 2007. So this has been sitting around in this box for 13 years. Now, I bought this at a private pick. A coworker of mine, I, I taught her, I teach her daughter in my class. And obviously they know, and they know I do this and they see this channel and they said, Hey, come on over there. Her mother had passed away quite a while ago. And she said, we've been trying to clean this stuff out and they've had multiple yard sales and estate sales. And I thought, well, there's probably not much there after trying to sell that stuff off a few times. But you know, when you have access to a place by yourself and this is kind of what I do, right? This is, I go in there after the fact I've been to many yard sales after the fact that i'm able to find some things because i've kind of been forced to figure out things that sell because this area isn't just full of high priced items and i think i spent 136 dollars that day i think that's what we spent and we got all kinds of stuff i haven't aired either of those it was really really long took a lot of video into two different videos and it was really fun uh, going around with one of my students and her mother uh, and her father in in this home and we had a good time so Anyway, this was one of those items and it sold for $40 plus shipping. Hey, whenever you see these, by the way, this is a Jimmy. Sometimes you'll see the old CVS versions and the older ones sell pretty good. There's new stuff coming out every once in a while, but this one is pretty good. I'm really happy with this sale. 40 bucks plus shipping, not bad. All right, this one is going out to Renee and Renee says, Kevin, you are such an inspiration. I've been selling full-time for the last eight months, and due to your help, I too want to branch out and help others with my own YouTube channel. Please keep the good content coming, and thanks again for all you do for us resellers. Renee, a.k.a. Quinn's Trends, Q-U-I-N-N -N apostrophe S, Trends. So thank you so much, Renee. We do appreciate it. All right, this one has a great story right here. So obviously it's a Virginia license plate, but it's a constitutional officer, and it says treasurer. 
And I just sold one of these. Actually, I didn't just sell one. I sold one quite a while ago that was similar. It had a different number on it. I sold it for 40 bucks. I bought it for a dollar. Matter of fact, I bought all of them. I bought a ton of these constitutional officer ones for a dollar a piece at the flea market. And I bought it because I wanted to do this right here. That's what I wanted to do because it was just a piece of wood right there and I didn't like the way it looked. And I put a few more up here and there. I've got a few back up here. I'm going to put some out in the Commonwealth cabin as well. But I have a bunch of these and I decided I was going to list them one at a time. There are some things that you don't want to flood the market with. And I'm the only one who has these. So I figured I'd just put one out at a time or two out at a time and see if we could sell them a little slower. And this one took forever to sell. But I only paid a dollar for it. Finally got an offer for $20 for it. I think I had it out there for $25 free shipping. And they're really light. I'd probably ship it for 8 ounces. And I got an offer for 20 bucks. I responded with an offer for $22. And they took it. I'm happy to sell it. And we still made a really nice profit. So the profit on that one, let's say it's $3 in fees. Let's say it's... Let's say it's $4 to ship. It probably isn't. And then $1 for cost. So we're into it for 8 bucks. So it's a $14 profit. It's going to be a little bit more than that. But it's a $14 profit. And I bought, I don't know how many I bought. I think I bought 20 of them. And I made more money on the first one. So it's a really nice little buy. And that's a really good trick with a lot of those license plates. If you get something a little different, it usually sells for a little bit more. Hey, we have another Animan going out, and this one is going out to Tim. Tim, thank you so much for your support. We do appreciate it. All right, we have another item going out from the Lost and Found Golf Course Sale, which is a video we have over on Commonwealth Flipper. It says something like, if you're having a hard time sourcing in the winter, try this. And it has a golf course uh, clubhouse in the background. This is a really, really nice one. I mean, it is basically brand new, tailor-made RBZ, and it even has the dial with it. Everything's working just wonderfully. This one sold for $13, so it's a pretty nice little profit. And we're going to add it to our total so far on that sale and let you take a look. All right, total investment is $250. We still have two brand new golf bags and probably 20 or so club head covers left. That one is a total of $8 in profit, $13 sale, after fees, after shipping. It's probably closer to nine, but we'll call it an $8 profit and we'll total it up, be $354. So we're $104 in the profit with two brand new golf bags to go that we'll probably sell here in the early spring and a bunch of club head covers still left. This one's going out to Bonnie and she says, hey, Commonwealth Picker, this is the second Animan I have gotten from you. The last one went as a gag gift, so I need another for my office. I'm actually watching your videos right now and enjoying the day. Happy trails and happy sales, Barb. Thanks so much, Barb. All right, we have a couple of Liberty items sell, and this is something we sell often. Matter of fact, it's the last one. I had, I don't know how many of these I picked up, but we had a few of them. It only sold for $6.91. That's around a $3 profit on a little item like this, and we had seven or eight of them, so... You know, one listing, let's say you had seven and you make three bucks a piece, $21 on one listing. I think that's worth it. It's really, really, I mean, it doesn't get easier than this. This one's going out to Bonnie. Bonnie says, hello, I'm a viewer and watch you daily. I'm retired and sell part-time on eBay to supplement my social security. I'm going to sit in a man on my desk for luck as I process orders for shipping. I appreciate the discount. Every little bit helps. God bless Bonnie. Bonnie, thank you so much, and we hope you enjoy your retirement, and we hope you enjoy the anime. All right, pick this Liberty University uh, muscle shirt up. I actually think this is from the team itself. I'm not quite sure. I believe this one is a men's, and I think it is. It sold for $16. I got it out of the dollar bin at Goodwill, and there were multiples of them. So dollar bin buy that sells for 16 bucks and will go for under four ounces is a pretty healthy little profit, probably very close to $10 profit on that. All right, thanks so much for joining us. As always, we really, really do appreciate each and every one of you watching us. We're, we're kind of overwhelmed with the support, to be perfectly honest with you. Blue Ridge Mama is thankful as well. She said she needs to get on a video soon, and I told her she does. So, at any rate, Homeschool Hustlers had a sale today as well. So hang around, we'll let you take a look at that at the end of the video. And there's always something else. You know, something, maybe Boots, or maybe Sophie, or maybe Pepper the Good Cat. We're not quite sure. But thanks so much, and we will see you next time. All right, we got homeschool hustler Turner back with us again today. Turner, what is that thing? Uh, Papa.
It's a popple. And we got that from the Mount Plushmore sale as well. Blue Ridge Mama listed it. I think Reagan took a picture. And Turner is selling it. So we got everybody involved. Can you yes. tell them thank you? Thank you. All right, so we we made eight dollars on that, so that's definitely enough for for Turner to have a dollar to spend, a dollar to save, and a dollar to donate. So our total profit so far is twelve hundred ninety-two dollars minus our initial investment of one hundred and fifty-six bucks, and we're shooting for fourteen hundred in profit, and I think we're gonna get there. 